January 1, 1836, nominally the Emperor of Ethiopia, Prince Saleh Dengel Solomon sits on his throne in Gondor uneasily. Hello everyone, I call myself Sundaskind and I usually love to play Victoria 3, but uh, this is a second uh, take, I'll just immediately get going, because uh, actually I had an amazing first uh, first episode, but then I didn't save after recording that one, and... Um, in the second episode, I tried to do some more stuff, and the fronts got so borky that the AI just, like, outflanked me every time. My amazing general went back to the capital every five seconds, and I actually lost, uh... I, lo I lost a war because the war system just doesn't work. It doesn't work in this game. I There's no two ways around it. Um, which is really sad because I had really good um, political roles, because that is the focus, actually, of this uh, series. I'm playing in the egalitarian society scenario, so my main focus is on changing the laws of our country. There's a, a play going on, which I'm thoroughly going to ignore for now. Um, so we're trying to get professional army. We want to change all the laws. Let's see, where tr people try to sway us in. They owe us an obligation. Um, who's in this? Why won't you just let me conquer something? Um... So it's Shewa and Kaffa against Godjam. Thing is, I don't have my amazing general yet, and that will take a couple of years. So I really don't want to get into any wars right now. Problem is, um, so Shewa is trying to take uh, Aousa, Aousa, and Kaffa will take Godjam. This is this is the problem. This is the same exact same thing that happened in my uh, my first take. Kafa took Gojam, then I tried to take basically Gojam, but it it like codes it as Kafan uh, uh, Amhara at that point. And the problem is uh, because they held their capital, because I couldn't get past Velega, they couldn't drop below zero war support and they would never surrender. But then basically all of Ethiopia was a mess at that point. I would, it was so. It, it was honestly just dumb. Um, but, um, so politically, let me try, let me try and regain what, what I was talking about in the actual first recording. Uh, this is an actual uh, historic character. He was intermittently the emperor of Ethiopia during the Age of Princes, which we are in, for which we want to take all of Amhara and all of Gondor, but also all of Oromia, so we can unite Ethiopia. That is one major goal, and we already have. Oh, this is amazing, actually. In in my my first take, he didn't come in. This event didn't come in until 1839. But here is the outlaw prince, a minor noble of the House of Solomon, has rapidly risen to power and popularity. Legally an outlaw, he has defeated every army sent against him, and now he seeks to retake the throne of Begemder by force. This is an actual historic character. This is Emperor Teodros II. Um, in reality, he didn't rule until the 1850s. But, you know, the game starts in 1813. You don't want to play. You're waiting for 20 years to do anything. And this guy is amazing. Prince Tewadoos at the moment. Outlaw Prince, plus 30 army offense. He does not have a defense buff, which is actually kind of painful when the enemy does uh, get an attack in. But he's also an expert offensive planner. So, on, like, this is actually not 30, it's actually 39, plus a modifier on the offense you already had. So he's just amazing, and he's 45, so he will rule for, like, 100 years. <clears throat> um, and, by the way, this is also an historic character, Ali Yeju. He was basically, you could almost think of him like the, like the Shogun of Japan. He was actually in charge in Ethiopia at, during the, uh, the Age of Princes, or at least the, the part that he lived through. But we want to unite Ethiopia, and now, with uh, our Solomon guy... Well, I don't want to get into this. In fact, um, I would much rather... Uh, problem is, you're already going to be at war with Gojam. So, I think what I'll do is go for Wello. Is Wello in this war? They are in that war. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I'll go for Wello. So. Interactions? No. Wait, what? Oh, is this because they are in a diplomatic place? So I can't... I can't go after those guys. Yeah, because I can't go after you. It, Which is so weird, because just because they want to go to war with each other shouldn't mean that... Oh, wait. It's because I uh, have declared neutrality in this one, I think? Can I then? Yeah, yeah, now I can go to unify Ethiopia. Very good. We shall. And we can sway in Sidamo. Okay. That's interesting. Right now, I don't need to do that. So, let's get our amazing... Hello. Oh, yeah, I haven't made him the... Uh, the commander yet. That's this button. A dissenters break ranks. That's not great. But I can lose in the first ring for a bit. Mobilize you. Put you on the front. And that should make him very scared. In theory. Right? It says we have 17 average offense defense, but that is a lie. Getting two logging camps here, after which we will get a construction sector. And we're trying to beeline uh, colonization because um, this is normal malaria in here. So you can, well, with que without queening you don't colonize very fast. But you basically want to try and cut this off before the Europeans get there. Intelligentsia becoming more powerful. That's good, that's what we want. I just hope we can get uh, a Willow before before they lose their war. Well, they are actually winning against Ausa, so that is good. So there is some promise here. And it seems like... No oh, Shewa did join them. Well, okay, Shewa, if you want to be like that, I will conquer you. I don't care for the infamy. I'll just do it. Immediately go for Shewa. For sure. Let's hope that the war system actually wants to uh, let us have fun this time. At least if we can tr kind of prevent any like disconnects from happening, like enclaves, exclaves, that should actually kind of work. Oh, we're... we're oh, yeah, well, I, I actually don't even need an outlaw prince if you're just going to let me through unopposed. Fighting a ghost. Fighting ghost is good. To what was the Ghostbuster? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going well. Ah, this will feel a lot better than the other. Oh, and our politician has died. Ali Jeju, that guy has died. Uh, Aosa demands that we join the... I don't think so. But I'll look at that later. So, the landowner guy has died. And... Oh, the leader is now our... Our... Um, our, our prince. Tewodos. Um... Law enactment filled debates. That's not great. So yeah, we have a really, really big stall at the moment here. Not sure how I'm going to solve that. So you want me to... The thing is... It's Shewa against Aosa. Yeah, I suppose I have to accept because otherwise I will be in a war... Um, theoretically on Shewa's side. So I guess I'll accept. But then I do still, like, keep my war, right? I still, like... Can, I don't know. It's weird. I'll basically want to uh, to have them capitulate to me as quickly as possible. Which it does look like they might do. Although maybe Shewa does capitulate to uh, to the, those other guys. Um. Oh wait, I think they dipped out of uh, of this war. Yeah, yeah, they didn't dip out of our war yet. They're losing war support. Yeah, they're losing it equally over there um, and over here. And they were already farther along in that one. So I'm afraid that Aosa will take Shewa. We just annex Wello. Amazing. So, got a bunch more logging camp potential. It's really good. Um, right now, getting a... Long camp down a construction sector. 
after that, I think a tooling workshop could do well for us. And because then after that we can get to sawmills if we get to steel working, which is already spreading. So that's good. Yep, fighting against Kaffa here. Now we're basically embroiled in this, uh, this other war, which is not great. Uh, oh, yes, we got it. We got it. I'm happy about this. So we can uh, incorporate some states if we want. I think I do like that. I think I do like that. How is it? How does this actually work now? Yeah, so basically this war is done, right? Because this has already happened. Uh, or has it? No, it has not happened. But Kaffa wants to still conquer Gotcha. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll just stop them from doing that. We'll just stop them from doing that. Because I am the one who is supposed to conquer Gojam. Well, militarily, this is going way better. But uh, law-wise, this is sad. Um, there, There's literally no other law I can pass right now. So I suppose I prefer doing this. There's just... It's very hard. I could, I could bolster you guys. Oh, you have poor visibility. Well, um, spoiler alert, there's an army on your doorstep. Knock, knock, let us in. Uh, we're on this side of the war, so... Here... Why are you feeling so badly about... Oh, because of your casualties. That's fair. We're right now paying too much uh, money on construction. F good thing is we have a lot more people in our country now. So this is making a lot more, um, well, it said it was going to be a bigger effect. I guess I'll just go to mid, again, it said it was going to have like a lot, a lot more effect, but uh, I guess it's fine. Actually, we can just, uh, we can do it this way. We can keep this on low. Well, no, consumption taxes don't do enough for us. So I will do this and I'll tax services. And then we're actually in the green. Okay, yes, this war will be over soon, and then maybe we can try our hand at another war too. So I guess uh, now in my second take, the uh, the game will go a lot better militarily, and then uh, politically it will be a lot, uh, it will be a li bit little trickier. I had the amazing luck that the landowner leader became a jingoist, and that's how uh, I could get to through some laws which the uh, pure, which the guys um, opposed, the landowners. Backroom dealings exposed. Well, yeah. Okay, professional army is done. It's over. Even though 38% of the people endorse it. Man, that is painful. That is painful. Is there literally anything else we could, uh, we could do? Appoint a bureaucrats. We could try. Um, that, that theory actually doesn't work any better than the, uh, than what we just tried to do, but I'll try. Kick out the Sunni Alema, bring in the Intelligentsia, confirm that, and try to go for a point of bureaucrats. Again, big stall. Landowners, man, you, you got to hate them. Let's please win this war. Just get it over with. I don't know why... Why? Oh, it's because... Uh, I hate the combat system. The combat system needs to change. Full stop. I don't want to rely on my AI to do anything. Let alone something as important as the defense of my country. Uh, yeah, you're working on that. Um, suppose you can do this, and you can do a... What is... What do we need? We need a textile mill. Actually could have... Uh, yeah, didn't really need that tooling workshop yet, but I guess it's fine. 
I kind of assumed that I would get to steelworking as fast in the second take as I did in the first one, but of course that's not the case. Uh, we're still not taking any battles here. You, you are at the front, so I don't know what our problem is here. It is a mystery. And now we are actually losing battles. But Kaffa, um surrendered. So now we are out of war. Building stuff in Gondor. It's going to be good. Can we actually incorporate these guys? Um, well, we do get a small bureaucracy deficit. Which is not great. Because at this point we don't have a lot of bureaucracy. So that would be a, a pretty big tax waste right off the bat. Gojum, can we unify with you? It seems we can. Save up the game. That was that was my biggest mistake. I just didn't save up before starting a diplomatic play. I could have actually yeah, kept that recording going if I had just done that. So always save up. No Iron Man in this game for me because uh well, first gameplay just needs to improve massively. In terms of uh, diplomacy, I like the economy system and I like the the politics system. I like I like this stuff. I don't like this stuff. Oh, oh, they back down. Okay, sure, fine. Infamy at twenty three point three. So let's go for Tigre. Yes. Some of these antagonistic, I think, adds to the makes That makes sense. I would also be antagonistic against someone who tries to conquer me. Harar was swayed. Well, Harar, you have made a huge mistake. And Tigre back down. That does mean... Oh, no, I think, actually, it, do, it like takes back the infamy from a, a demand you didn't push. But uh, world is our oyster at this point. This is Amha, which I haven't incorporated yet. I did bring in Oromia. So, oh, now I have a really big deficit here. I need a government administration pronto. Right after the tooling workshop. And after I get to colonization, I think I will prioritize getting to those, uh, to those steel uh, mills. How are you guys feeling? Okay, fine. Do we get any ticks yet? No. July 38 will be the first one. Man, it sucks. Like, in the first recording, I had actually already gotten two laws I wanted to pass past by uh, by 38, but uh, no dice this time. Uh, Williga. No, actually. Oh, I can't, uh, can't go to R because we have a truce until 43 wait what wait did we get a five-year truce off of your ally backing down i hate the backing down mechanic if i have not made that clear yet um i hate the backing down mechanic well let's go uh yes red tape oh no no no! Oh, I really can't use this now. This is so much, such a big bureaucracy hit. I hate this. A point of bureaucrats also not passing. Well, yeah. Um, no, this is going to be uh, be painful. Serfdom. I mean, no, that that will be bad. That will radicalize them. This will probably, yeah, this will. This will flip them out. Oh my god, this is painful. Um, yeah, I don't know. Guaranteed liberties? Um, actually, honestly, that's fine. Try to do that. So, you're not mobilized yet. Let's mobilize you. Yeah, this, this tax waste is really hurting us. Almost a quarter of our taxes are just being burnt. That's not great. 
Okay, looks like there will be a war and it will be a very quick one because we have 53 battalions here. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a... Uh... Oof, that was one battle. Two battles and it was over. Ouch. That must hurt. Maybe we get a really good roll here with the guaranteed liberties, although it will actually cost us more bureaucracy, so it's not great. Uh, Prince intervenes. Yeah, sure, go for it, my guys. Small communities of fugitive slaves hidden away in remote areas of Gondor have become targets of local slaveholders, fe fearing they could assist in potential uprisings. Um... Um... Well, I do not want more radical... Well, radicals from discrimination... Wait, that reminds me, because slaves have to be, like... Oh, Kikuyu, Bantu, and Nilotic. Okay. Um... I suppose I can take the radicals hit. Well, Willega, I think it's time you surrender. What is the per level value here? 35. Okay, at least we will dip out of the uh, out of the tax waste. We annex Valega. Very good. So we're already looking pretty strong here. So I think with the interruption, I'm now at around 20 minutes. So I will make a cut here. It's February 28, 1839. No laws have changed, sadly. But our country has grown uh, fairly strong. Begemler has. Uh, has asserted its authority over Shewa, Welega, Wello, and Tigre. So, I hope you like that. And you leave a like. Or if you're angry that I'm asserting my authority, then leave a comment. And in any case, you can subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.